Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch My Hero Ultra Rumble game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue. Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still, you are unable to launch the game, then rename open XR folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now open the engine folder. Now open binaries folder. Now open third party folder. Now over here you can see open XR folder, make a right click, then click on rename and you can rename it as openxr.old, whatever you want. You can rename this folder. Now after, the, after you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right over here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically. Both are on over here. If not on, turn it on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. So make sure that you click on sync now. Now, once the sync is done, if it does not sync, then click on sync now once again and make sure that you are connected to the internet when you click on sync now. And then go to language and region and then make sure right country is selected over here. Select your country and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security, then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security. In Windows 10, you will find update and security, then click on Windows security. So click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. And then scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. Now if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86, open the Steam folder, open the Steam apps folder. Now open the game folder, common folder and then you will see the game folder over here. In my case, it's in different drive. So open Steam, Steam apps, common and then open My Hero Ultra Rumble game and then Select all the exe file over here. Click on add and allowed app, browse all apps once again, and then open this hero versus game folder, binaries win64, select this exe file, not even open. Once you add the game, now type in control panel in Windows search box, and then click on control panel. Now click on system and security. Now click on Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings on the top and then click on allow another app. Now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Now select this exe file, now click on open, click on add. Again, click on allow another app, browse and then open hero versus game. Binaries win64, select this exe file, now click on open, again click on add. In my case, this is already added. And check if there is any other exe file. So there is no other exe file. So add this one and then add this one. Now, once this is added, let me check. Uh, I think it's added here. You can see the game is added. Now click on OK and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your product type. For me, it's GeForce. Select the right series and then select the right graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. And once you select your graphic card, then select Windows. So if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on Start Search. Now scroll down. 
and the latest g force game ready driver right now is driver version 537.42 so click on download get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on this box and then click on next and let the installation complete first of all it will uninstall the previous uh, driver and then it will reinstall the latest driver so once the clean installation is done you can restart your computer now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then select this exe file now click on add click on options select high performance click on save again click on browse and then open this folder binary is win64 select this exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to this game installation folder make a double click open this you can make a right click on this and then make a right click and then click on run as an administrator you can even open this folder binary is win64 make a right click then select properties now go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here still you are facing the problem this time over here put a check on this box and then select windows 8 click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time you can try windows 7 over here and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click and launch the game still you are facing the problem this time you can select windows vista service pack 2 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game again you can go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then click on apply click on ok make a double click and then try to launch the game now if still the game is not launching in that case you can make a right click once again select properties and then uncheck all the boxes if it's not working uncheck all the boxes and then click on apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then close this and then launch the game and then check now still the game is not launching still you're facing the problem then again make a right click make a right click and then select properties and then over here type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check now still the game is not launching in that case the next step is to make a right click once again and remove this clear it and then follow the next step now the next step is to now you can skip this step if the game is not launching but if the game is launch launching if you are able to launch the game switch to different game server switch to full screen or window mode and lower down graphics settings so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game go to game and then click on menu and then go to settings over here now over here you can, you can see under gameplay if it is set to eu then you can select jp over here or you may select us so selecting us has worked for many players so you can try different game server so many eu users are facing this problem so you can just try to switch the game server either you can try jp or us if it's already in us then you can try jp or eu so try to change the game server and then check now once you launch the game go to game click on menu and then go to settings now go to display 
Now over here, if the screen re resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now if the screen mode is set to borderless, you can try uh, full screen first. Full screen has worked for few players, so you, you can try this. If that does not work, you can switch to window mode. Now keep it at 60 hertz over here. Now turn off VSync and then check if it's already off. You can turn it on and then check. Turn off crosshair and then scroll down. And over here you can see graphics settings. Now if this is set to high, you can try center or you can even go for low quality. Turn off anti-aliasing and then lower down shadow quality. Here turn off bloom motion blur turn it off and you can set the texture quality effect quality and vegetation quality to medium or low and now save the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and then download x64 and then run both the exe file click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case i have already installed so it's telling me to restart my computer so in your case it will install in my case this is already installed that's why it's telling me to restart my computer again run the second file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case both are already installed that's why i'm receiving that error so click on restart after it is installed make sure that you restart your computer restart is a must and after the system restart launch the game next step is to disconnect additional controller connected to the computer now if you have these devices connected disconnect all the usb devices which you are not using and then launch the game also disable steam overlay for this make a right click on the game select properties turn off this option this is enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in geforce experience turn it off so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner or river tuner running close overclocking application close all the overclocking application and then launch the game also if you have any third party software running if you have this software running make sure that you close all these services and software make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything including all your browsers close it and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it did it in your case this would be highlighted over here so put a check on this box and then click on disable all then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so one 
16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available, download it, install it. Now in case of laptop, if you have a laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Then update the system BIOS. Now during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click, then click on manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive. If you have SSD, then try to install the game on SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch the game successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.